I just thought it would be neat to have a piece with everybody that I knew in it celebrating during a pinnacle moment in their career. The, the baseball world is very small, so eventually they get around to something like a painting and talking about me and my work. When the World Series painting started, that happened in space. Yeah, it, it became a tradition after that. Out of the hundred or so works I do a year, that is by far instantly the most complicated because there are so many people and there is such a large story to tell, especially this year. There are 25 guys on a roster for the World Series. If every single one of them isn't represented in some way, the first person I'm gonna hear from is the person that isn't in the painting. And to this day, Dave Roberts has never forgiven me for leaving him out of the painting in 2004 with the Red Sox. 2006 when the Cardinals won, uh, Aaron Miles was on that team and, and uh, right before the final pitch of the World Series, Aaron had his warm-up jacket on and he thought to himself that I need to take my jacket off in case Opie paints me from behind. The thought of what is going into my painting is running through your head, that's pretty cool. In a baseball sense, that means you've, you've arrived. There's a realness to being a Cubs fan, I think that there's some ownership of it that seems very genuine to being a Cubs fan. Where I come in in that is that I'm just like them because baseball has been interwoven into the fabric of my life, of my history. That's the commonality. With fans and this particular painting, that's what I'm trying to express. You know, we watched it, we saw it, it happened. You know, you, you have 108 years to consider. You have curses, you have black cats, you have great, great Hall of Fame baseball players. But really right when the celebration started and Rizzo came together, that had to be part of the center of the entire thing. Above in the, in the night sky in Cleveland, uh, paint ghost Wrigley Field into it, but also players that have had their number retired by the Cubs tipping their hats as if in honor of the win. One of my favorite parts of the painting is Harry Carey up in heaven. He's reading the trib and seeing that we finally won. Edwards Jr. when he ran around with the W flag, it was a very memorable moment. Um, John Lackey, who lives very close to me in Texas, said, Opie, can you bring, can you bring the print and print? He's like, I'm right there. Okay, good. I'm in a good spot. It needed more than one painting. It needed more than 10 paintings. I guess that's just my process for being excited about the fact that they won is produce a lot of work. Oh, I got this idea. I got this idea. Oh, I could paint this. Not being a player and to have some sort of connection to the history of the game is like a dream come true. And the best part about it is I don't ever have to retire. Five million people came to the parade. Five million people. So hopefully we'll get a few people for the show. <laughs>